Hi, my name is Rem and welcome to the last episode in CRUD series in which we'll implement game deletion. As this is the last episode, so it's time to think about the next one and you can vote for the topic you're most interested in or submit your own idea. Follow the link in the description. So deletion of the record is very simple because we already know everything there is to know to implement it properly. So let's open game card component. We add delete game action to prop types we add it to the structure in here. And for our button, we add onClick handler, in which we use inline function that calls delete game and passes game ID to it. Okay, next we need to add delete game to games list component and pass it down to game card. So let's open games list component. We add delete game to prop types. We add it to the structure in here and pass it down to game card component. And now we go back to games page where we connect our component to Redux. We pass delete game to games list there. We import it, of course, and we pass it to connect function. And let's define it in prop types as well. So pretty standard drill by now, right? So we've done with UI, so next let's create this action. We open actions.js file and we copy and paste update game action and let's modify it. Instead of game object, it takes game ID. And we use it in URL request. We change method to delete. And we do not need body anymore, so let's delete it. And then we dispatch game deleted and pass ID to it. So next we define game deleted action. And we pass game ID as an argument. It returns action object with type game deleted and game ID. And let's define constant game deleted as well. And we're done here. Next to the reducer. We open games.js reducer file. Let's import game deleted constant from actions. And add case section for game deleted. And in here we need to create array without game with such ID. For that we use filter. So we return state.filter. And in callback check if item ID does not equal to action game ID. And we've done with reducer. Next to server where we need to implement delete route. So we open server.js file and let's define app.delete route with API games and ID parameter. In callback here we use db collection games and for deletion we use delete one. First argument is usually is query object and we search by ID. And again we need to convert string to object ID and we do it with new mongodb object ID and pass request params ID into it. In callback, we add error handler and if everything's okay, just respond with success status and empty JSON object. And that's it. Let's go to the browser and let's delete this duplicated game we created earlier. And it works. As an exercise, try to implement some kind of confirmation component. And we're done. We implemented the whole CRUD functionality in just 10 episodes. This episode is a good review of how simple feature is implemented with Redux. First we create UI and add action to it to be dispatched, then we define this action creator, and then we define cases in all reducers which must react to this action. And that's it for this series. Let me know what topic you want me to cover next. If you found this series useful, please support my work by liking it, subscribing to this channel, and most importantly, sharing it with your friends and colleagues. Also join my newsletter if you want to be updated about courses I'm working on and receive other goodies that I can deliver via YouTube. Thank you very much for your time and have a great day.